For Ebony Rainford Brent, the effect of cricket has been profound. My oldest brother had been murdered in like a streak of violence and you know it was quite tough growing up and so I was looking for any outlet possible that would sort of make a difference to my life and I mean cricket changed everything for me and sort of really gave me a positive outlet. Following England's Ashes success in Australia, in North London, Ebony's helping launch a three-year initiative, bringing Street 20 to thousands of new players in housing estates blighted by crime and gangs. Street 20 is basically a shortened version of cricket. It's inexpensive, you can play it anywhere, and perhaps, best of all, if you find some of the rules of cricket a bit confusing, this is very simple. Six on a team, each side bowls 20 balls, and no LBW. I've had a bad lifestyle when I was younger, really. I got kicked out of school and everything, and then I joined in with cricket, and I've really enjoyed it. It's kept me out of trouble. It's just that fairly low competition. Two charities have joined forces to promote Street 20, Cricket for Change and the Lord's Taverners. Can it really do that? Can it stop people going down a path they shouldn't be going down? It brings in a whole load of other things, playing together, teamwork, a sense of self-esteem, doing well. Um, for, for a lot of young people, I mean, we take these things for granted, but for so many young people, they just simply don't have those kind of advantages. Street 20 uses a tennis ball wrapped in tape, so it bounces and spins like a cricket ball. Get hit, the impact isn't as bad. Get hooked, well, the impact can be life-changing. Tim Muffet, BBC News.